Hey, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan. Welcome back to another JC production. In this video, we're going to be talking about the built-in video editor on the Galaxy Note 10. A lot of people don't realize that the Note 10 has a wonderful built-in video editor. It's very capable and very comparable to some of the video editors that you have to pay for in the Play Store. So in this video, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks and pointers. That way you can get the most out of this great built-in video editor. The very first thing we're going to talk about is how do you even access this thing? Let me show you. To use the built-in video editor, you're going to go into your gallery and then locate a video file that you want to edit. So we're going to pull up a video file here and then tap on the little pencil icon down here on the bottom left. And now you're in the built in video editor. Now, let me show you the first tip that I have before we even dive into the video editor itself, because this tip is going to help you in the long run. The real power of this built in video editor isn't really to edit an individual clip, but rather a timeline or multiple video clips. But the way to stay organized is to go in here, click on the three little dots over here and then create a new album. We're going to name this video edit two. And then what you're going to do is go into your camera roll and then start selecting the video clips that you want to add to this timeline. You can also add some still images. But once you have all of the files that you want to add to the timeline, select the three little dots again, and then go to move to album, then find the album that you just created. So video edit two, and it's going to move those files to that album. This way, everything stays organized. So once you're ready to sit down and start editing your timeline or this video, you have everything right where you need it to be. And it's easy to find. So if I back out of my camera roll and then go down, you can see I have my video edit two folder right here. And then there's all of the files that I selected. Now that I gave you one of my little secret tips on how to stay organized, let's go ahead and dive into the video editor so I can show you what this thing can do. Let's go ahead and move all of our files in our video edit two album to a timeline. To make this fast and easy, just take the S Pen, hold it down for a split second, and then just drag it over all of the files. That way it selects them all. That way you don't have to touch and tap every single individual file in order to do like a group selection. Once everything is selected, right here there's like a play button with like a movie clapper and a plus sign. Just tap that and it's going to import it into a timeline. Now you have two options. You can create a highlight reel or you can edit yourself. We're going to go to edit yourself and boom. Now we have our timeline down here. Now, obviously, you may not want it in this exact order to rearrange the clips. All you have to do is just hold down on the clip that you want to move and then drag it to the position that you want it in. You can see I just moved this picture right here. But if I want to move this video clip to the beginning, just hold and drag. The next thing I want to talk about is adjusting the aspect ratio of our video project. Now, traditionally, if this is going to YouTube, 16 by 9 is just fine. But maybe you want to upload this to Instagram. Well, that's where one by one comes in. And if you want to get a little cinematic with it, 9 by 16 is the way to go. Plus, 9 by 16 is great for portrait style video, like for Instagram stories. So to adjust the aspect ratio, there's a little circle right here. And you can see it says 16 by 9. Just tap on that. And now we're in one by one, which, like I said, is great for Instagram. Tap on it again, and now we're in 9 by 16. Tap on it one more time, and we will go back to 16 by 9. Let's say you have a minute clip in here, but there's only like 10 seconds that you really want to use, but you recorded that full minute because you didn't want to miss the moment. To adjust the length of a clip, just tap on the clip that you want to edit. Tap on the little pencil icon right here. Now it's going to pull up the individual clip video editor. From here, you have a little line over here on the left, and you have another line on the right. Just take these lines and adjust it to the position and area of the video that you want to keep. So just for example, we're going to keep this portion of this video clip. Once that is done, just tap done. And then it's only going to take that portion and then bring it over to your timeline. So you can see it shortened a 10 second clip to two seconds. Another thing that you can do inside the built in video editor is adjust the speed or timing of an individual clip. Now, personally, I haven't found a useful situation for this since it does affect the quality of the video. But to access it, what you're going to do is tap on an individual clip that you want to readjust and then pull up the individual video editor by tapping on that little pencil icon. Down here on the bottom, you have a list of little icons. Just swipe over until you see the three circles and a play button. Tap on that. And now you have three different choices. Right now it's on times 1.0, which is the normal speed of the video clip. To slow it down, tap over here. And now it's at 0.5 times. And to speed it up, tap over here. And now it's at times 2.0. Let me show you what happens when we do a slowed down version of this video clip. You can see it's really, really choppy. It's not very smooth. 
And overall, I just think that it really affects the quality and I'm not really a fan of that. Now, you could also speed it up. Now to speed it up, we're going to readjust the length of the video real quick. Swipe over, go back into the retiming section and then go up here to 2.0 and then push play. So you can see it really makes it a lot faster. This is a good way to record like some 4K or 1080p video and then create a time lapse because you can speed it up. So while we're inside the individual clip video editor and not the timeline editor, let me go ahead and show you how to apply a filter to an individual video clip. Now, right next to the pair of scissors, there are three little circles. Just tap on that. And here you have access to all of the built-in filters or LUTs, whatever you want to call them. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this back to original for the rest of this video. But while we're in the individual video editor, I want to show you a few of the effects that you can do while you're here. So the pair of scissors is obviously how you can trim and cut a portion of a video and then add it to your timeline. The three little circles is the filters, what we're in now. CC, we're gonna come back to. This little thing right here is for stickers. So you can actually apply a sticker to a video or a photo clip. Now, in my personal opinion, this works best for a video that is not moving. So if you're doing like a front facing video and you're holding the camera out and the, the camera itself isn't moving and you're not really moving around crazy, this is going to be great. But mostly this is for photographs and stills. Great for Instagram, things like that. Now, next to that, you have like this little paintbrush and like a color palette. If you tap on that, you can do some really cool S Pen tricks. Now, again, this is gonna be mostly for static video, so not a lot of movement. The camera itself isn't moving and also great for stills. There's no tracking, so it's not like AR doodle that you can do inside the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 camera. So if you draw on like someone's face, it's not gonna track it, not inside this built-in video editor. However, you can do that still in the camera and then bring that clip into the editor. So let me show you what this does. If I were to draw on this clip right here, you can see it just allows me to draw in a specific color that I can select down here directly on this clip. Now, if I have the live feature selected, if I play this back, you can see it is going to show how I drew it or the process of that drawing. Again, this is why I say that it's best for static video and also photographs. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this little doodle that we did on this video clip. To do that, you can either use the eraser or you can use the undo button. We're gonna use the undo button. And before we leave the individual video editor, I do wanna go back to this CC tab. Now, obviously CC stands for closed caption, but you can use this as a way to add a title to an individual video clip. So we're gonna write out some text real quick. We're just gonna write test and you can see it right here. And you can change the font. You can do that one that one, that, or that. I do wish there was more fonts to choose from. Maybe in the future they can add some downloadable fonts in the Galaxy Store, I don't know. So we're gonna pick this one, and then you can actually pick the orientation so it could be centered, it could be over to the right, or it can be over to the left. We're gonna leave it at centered, and then you can add a background to that text, and you can change the color of the background as well. So we're going to select a solid one and then select black. So as you can see, we have white text and then a black background. Very easy to see and I love the contrast. You can also change the color of the font. However, you can't change the color of the font and the background color. It has to be one or the other. So let me show you what I mean. So if you have a black background, obviously the text is going to be white. But if I want to change the color of the font or the text, I can disable the background and then go back under the uppercase A and the lowercase A, which is where the font and the text style is at. And then select a color. We're gonna select blue. So you can barely see it, but it's right there. And in order to do a background color, it's going to get rid of my blue font, turn it white, as you can see. So instead the background becomes blue, but it gets rid of the blue in the text. So, so you can't do both. Kind of a bummer, but um, I'm, I'm willing to work with it. Uh, I don't know. It's still it's still kind of weird. Like you should be able to do like maybe red text in a black background, something like that, but you can't do both. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this text and then I'm gonna go back to our timeline editor. To do that, just hit the back button and then you can see now we have our timeline and we're in this specific editor. Now there's another way that you can add a title to your timeline or to your video project that you're working on. To do that, right here, there's like a little box with a T, just select it and you can see you have title and then description. So we're gonna write test, and then for description, you're basically describing the video project that you're working on. 
This is like the intro title type thing. So think of like iMovie or maybe like Windows Movie Maker, how you can have an opening title sequence. That's pretty much what this is. So we're gonna do test and then write, you know, video edit. So now we have our title and then some like a little description about the video and we can just hit save. And, oh, and now we have like our opening title sequence, I guess you could say. We can hit play and let's go back to the very beginning. Now, one quick uh, little hack here, instead of hitting the play button, you can actually hit the S pin button and it will play so your timeline. So you can see it kind of fades in. The next thing I wanna show you is how to use the included music that Samsung provides in the video editor or even your own music. Right next to where we just added our little intro title sequence, there's a little music note. Now, if you tap on that music note, it's going to pull up the option to decrease or increase the video sound as well as add background music. If you wanna remove the video sound, you can either do it through the timeline video editor, which is going to remove the video sound for every single clip, or you can remove the video sound from an individual clip. To remove it from a single clip, what you're gonna do is go back into your timeline, find the clip that you wanna remove the sound from, go back into the individual clip editor. And then down here, you should see a little music icon, tap on that. Now, if I bring the video sound all the way down, all the other video clips will still have sound. So it's a quick little hack for you. So we're gonna go back to our timeline and we're gonna go back under this little music note and we're going to add some background music. So let's just tap over here where it says none. Now it's gonna pull up all of the songs that Samsung includes in this video editor, which you can use for free. And there's a lot of music to choose from. Like it's really nice to see how much music Samsung actually provides that you can use for free. To preview a song, you're just going to select it and it's going to download automatically. So we're gonna select this one right here where it says Charleston Delight. And as soon as I click on it, it's gonna start the download process and you can see it's playing. Obviously, I don't wanna use that song. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a beat from uh, one of the websites that I get my music from. And I use two different sources, Artlist and Epidemic Sound. Let's go ahead and head into Chrome and pull up Epidemic Sound, which I already have. In case you didn't know, Epidemic Sound has a huge catalog of music to choose from. They have many different categories, many different themes, so you can always find the right track that's appropriate for the video you're working on. And even if you're not into video, you can still use their instrumentals, like say you're an up and coming hip hop artist and make a track that way. And they even have sound effects if you're trying to like score some type of movie production. It's, it's really, really cool. I'll leave sign up links for Epidemic Sound and Artlist down in the description. But I don't wanna waste your time and try to find a song, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over to My Music, and we're gonna use the song that is located right here. So I'm gonna play it real quick, so you can hear it. And then now I'm going to download it, download full mix. And that's another thing that's great about Epidemic Sound is you can actually download stems and then create like a remix version of that specific instrumental. Now that the song is downloaded, I'm gonna go back into the video editor, tap on this little plus sign right here, locate the song I just downloaded, which is right here, and then tap done. Now it's going to apply that song that we just downloaded from Epidemic Sound to my timeline. That's really, really cool. So we're going to go to the timeline viewer right here, scroll back, and then hit play. And you can see the video is playing and it's playing the music that we just downloaded. While we're in the timeline viewer, I think it's an appropriate time to show you how to do a transition. Now, by default, you can see between every clip, there's this little box that has a minus sign. That means there's no transition applied. To apply a transition, tap on the box, and it's gonna give you the option to do a dissolve, a slide, or a fade. We're gonna do a dissolve for this one, and then here we're going to do a fade, All right? So now we're going to play our video and you'll see the transition happen, which the first one should be a dissolve. So you can see it dissolves into the next clip and then now we're gonna do a fade, boom. Well friends, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you're able to use your Note 10 video editor a little bit better now. If you are more comfortable with using the video editor found on the Note 10, Note 10 Plus, and Note 10 Plus 5G, and you make a video and you're on Instagram, give me a follow. And if you post that video, tag me in that post. Maybe if I can get enough people to participate, I can create a montage and include that in a future video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos just like this. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I will talk to you wonderful people in the next video.